Hi! In this video, let's learn how to extract an embedded video inside a PowerPoint presentation. Let us say you received a PowerPoint presentation with an embedded video, but you don't have the original file and you want to extract the video from the presentation. Or you watched our latest video called How to Drastically Reduce Video File Size for WhatsApp with PowerPoint and you have the same doubt as Mr. Mohammad Nazri who asked, the media has been compressed by PowerPoint to a smaller size, but the video is embedded within the PowerPoint PPT. How can we extract the compressed media as a video file so that it can be sent through WhatsApp? So whatever may be your reason, let us learn how to extract the embedded video inside a PowerPoint presentation. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I have a PowerPoint presentation with an embedded video. You can see that this is how the video that, plays. I'm Ram Gopal from presentation. And the presentation is saved in the documents folder. You can see that this is the presentation. It has around 15 MB size and it has an embedded video file. Now, how do we extract the video that is inside this presentation? First, we need to ensure that the file extension for the file is visible. For that, in the Windows Explorer view, you go all the way to View and then you can see this option called File Name Extensions, which is in the Show Hide group. You check this and immediately the file extension is shown. Now, all we need to do is to change the file extension from .pptx to .zip. So, let me right click on the file, go to Rename and here I am going to choose the file extension and hit backspace. Now it is dot. Now I am going to add zip to the file extension. So it is intro video dot zip instead of intro video dot pptx. Now I hit enter. As soon as I did that, I get a warning which says if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Now in this case, I am sure I want to change it because I have a copy of it. If you don't have a copy of it, it is always a good idea to make a copy of it and then do this procedure. Now let me say yes and I get this new warning which says the action can't be completed because the file is open in PowerPoint. So we need to close the file and try again. So let me go once again back to this presentation, close it. Now I am going to try it again. Now you can see that the file extension is changed to introvideo.zip. Now I can double click that. I can see that there are various files that are inside the zipped folder. Now the one that we are interested in is PPT. Let us double click on that folder. Here we have a whole bunch of options. The one that we are interested in is in media. So let us double click on that one. And here I see media1.mp4. This is what I want. So I can right click on that, copy and then go back to the same documents folder. Right click here and paste. Now I have this video which can be used any way I want. Let me double click on that. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from Presentation Pro. So you can see that we have the actual video file extracted beautifully from inside the PowerPoint presentation. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.